Hey guys, we're back. Welcome back. This is part two yes. of our trusting God. Yeah, mm -hmm. trusting God. And mm -hmm. we just thought we would bring you some true stories yes. of that place that we got to measure how much we really mm -hmm. were trusting mm -hmm. in the Lord. Yes. So this is part two. Watch part one before, yes. or you can watch part two, either one. <laughs> yeah. But um, so... Giovanna, thank yes. you so much for being, you know, that um, really vulnerable mm -hmm. and just sharing that place of where you were faced <laughs> yeah. of really having to trust the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you all out there might think, oh, you know, oh, Giovanna and Patty, mm -hmm. they've got it, you know, all together. And we still don't, you know, the Lord, you know, yeah. says, his scripture says that we are mm -hmm. a work in progress. Yes. And we're not going to be complete until mm -hmm. he comes back, right? Mm -hmm. But there is a place that we have learned um, to trust, and it was really out of a place of being faced with something yes. that was difficult. Yes. And we talked about it in the first video. I mean, the enemy, I mean, likes to mm -hmm. use what is closest to us, mm -hmm. you know, to affect even, even maybe have us go astray right. or have us react a certain mm -hmm. way. And as you shared, yes. not throwing, you know, a chunk club at a cell phone yeah. in part one. <laughs> yeah, these mm -hmm. these are real stories. And this is a place that we have been, yes. you know, again, we can only give you a perspective mm -hmm. as single moms, yes. you know. Um, but really, I love that you were saying that you were always praying for your girls mm -hmm. and declaring things because that scripture, mm -hmm. you know, says that... that um, Father God is the father to the fatherless, yes. you know, and so I would declare that mm -hmm. over my daughter as mm -hmm. well. So, you know, um, I'm single, you know, mm -hmm. I'm a single parent. Well, she's an adult now, so, but you <laughs> our know, daughters are adults now. Yeah. They're well, adults now. my youngest one is not, she's 15 and she's amazing. They're all amazing, beautiful mm -hmm. young women. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, you'll, you'll get to meet them yeah. soon. Pretty soon, you know, they're we'll, going to be on here. Yeah, yeah, we'll be doing a segment, you know, yes. with these young women of God. Yes. And so this um, place of really trusting, because you said it, like. So I, I have to just ask. So I'm like <laughs> a pray mama declaring Jesus. I mean, you know, holy roller definition, Giovanna's name on the side. <laughs> Jesus free, Giovanna on the side. You know, just in that movement that. I just, Jesus yeah. is my everything. Yeah. So can you like share something about you? Like, am I the only one? Like, did I act like, like a little crazy throwing a cell phone, you know, instead of the chancla? Like, is oh, there, yeah. is there any time that you could think of like, okay, you know, cause you hear all these stories where it seems like everybody just has it right and they pray and they trust oh, God. Like the, the heavens are opening and you hear, you know, the chorus of angels. Yes. Oh, you know. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's how we, no. no. So you, you're, you're not alone. Okay. <laughs> you're not alone in this. Put in the comments. Let me know if I'm not alone. She's yes. not alone. Like, let us know. Like, have you ever like. Crazy Jesus time, you know. You know? thrown a cell phone not a chunkla or, no, or a chunkla <laughs> you know or, or a chunkla you know as you hear my story or mm -hmm. you know we're chasing people down in your vehicle oh what oh yeah. oh sure sure tell tell us what we You're want to know i need to know do tell do tell do tell so you know um again you know we're in this place of of declaring things for our kids because we know yeah. what it's like to be mm -hmm. in those broken places and always um, like the country song, looking for love in all, all the, the wrong, wrong places, places right? Mm -hmm. We know what that yes. looked like for us and being yes. so um, consumed with, with someone because we just so wanted to be loved. Yes. And so we know what it brings mm -hmm. and what happens in, in those relationships. Mm -hmm. So we certainly do not want that. Mm -hmm. We didn't want that for our daughters. So we're declaring things and yes. praying for their spouses and, you know, praying over their pillows, yes. anointing their pillows with, you know, uh, anointed oil. oil. <laughs> yes. You like know. drench. And they're like, and my kids will probably share that when they're on here. Like, what is that on their windows? On their windows. <laughs> you see little oil crosses everywhere yeah. over every door post. Yeah. Their shoes. <laughs> and so see. You know, and this is something mm -hmm. that you do. And you're like, yes. And, yes. You know, I trust 
I trust mm -hmm. God. I trust God, you know, with my finances, with yes. my job, mm -hmm. with my car, with, you know, yes. with whatever was coming mm -hmm. or not coming, I would yeah. trust the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my daughter was about, you know, 18, mm -hmm. you know, while well, she was turning 19 yeah. and we are so close and you can say that mm -hmm. for, for you as well. We're, you know, oh, yeah. sometimes people don't understand that dynamic. Yes. How close you can be, you know, mm -hmm. as a single mom, we, we share a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. We, we, um, and we're open and we're I, honest. Yes. My, 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 and I know you can say this, my daughters are absolutely my life. Yeah. Like I, I adore them. I love them. And you know what, it, what's pretty awesome is that we don't just love them. Mm -hmm. We like enjoy spending time yes, with them. We, hang we out. We like them. We like them. And they like really love us. Like they yeah. want to hang out with us. They think we're cool. We're cool. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was this place of, of over dinner, mm -hmm. having this dialogue, mm -hmm. you know, with my daughter and just her being in a place of really not feeling mm -hmm. um, accepted. And, mm -hmm. and unfortunately that can happen in church. Oh yeah. You know, and it's so heartbreaking to it know is. that, you know, you see your amazing kid and you're like, oh, they're so great and they're so loving and they're so, you know, you know, my, anyone could say that about their kid, yeah. you know, and you see them in a place and then you see them not being accepted, even in church. Um, yeah. it, it's That's so sad. Right. Christians can be sometimes the meanest people. If and, you love yeah. Jesus, be nice. Yes, please. You know, there are some broken hearted kids out there yes. that, that just want to be welcomed yes. and, and feel like they're mm -hmm. welcome and mm -hmm. accepted. Um, into so she started talking about music. She has she's just very mm -hmm. eclectic, mm -hmm. you know, when it comes to me, music. Mm -hmm. She loves all genres, yeah. she just likes a lot of music. Mm -hmm. And so she started talking to me about like this, like kind of techno mm -hmm. music. And I was listening because mm -hmm. I'm open, right? I want to not just oh, shut her down. Good. Oh, good. See, I was like, uh uh, that's of the devil, turn yeah. it off. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I want I want her to engage, engage. with me uh -huh. so I could hear the full story yeah. before I go, so oh, no. Good. Mm -mm, that's mm -hmm. not a place. Ask yourself. So as we're having this doll, I could feel in my spirit like, oh, like mm -hmm. already, you know, you know it, you know it. And she's like, well, I'm just going to go. And I got invited to a rave. Mm -hmm. And all oh, right away, I was like, I'm going to throw up right here. And, you know, just like the sickness mm -hmm. in, you know, that in the pit of your stomach. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, trying to be calm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I was like, well, ask yourself, you know, is that really a place? <laughs> yeah. You know that a young christian woman should be <laughs> oh well mom there's really not a lot of um there's no real lyrics mm -hmm. to this and you know i just want to go check it out you know it, it it'll be fine i'm going with another friend and and so internally i'm like okay she's 19 mm -hmm. you know she's still a kid she's still in my home right so i'm like oh mm -hmm. no no i don't care if you're 18 19 38 in my home you're not going. So not going. then, then I started mm -hmm. getting the crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, oh. Yeah. Tell me, tell us. Tell started us. Started getting tell the us. crazy. Don't you guys and hear? I was like, you know, we're, mm -hmm. we're, at, we're in public. We're having dinner. Oh. So I was like, oh no. I was like, <laughs> you asked yourself and did you, and you prayed about it. <laughs> and then she was like, well, why am I going to pray about it going somewhere? I was like, no, tell me that you prayed about it. <laughs> and so I'm pushing my food, you know, like your plate. <laughs> plate. And I was like, oh no, uh -uh. Mm -hmm. unless you could tell me that mm -hmm. you asked the Lord that you can go to this place, then no, mm -hmm. no, uh, no, this is not happening. Mm -hmm. And she was just like, well, I thought I could, you know, bring this to you and talk to you, oh, you know, calmly. Mm -hmm. And I was like, not calm <laughs> because I knew mm -hmm. in my spirit that this was an assignment. Mm. I knew it. I knew that this was a ploy of the enemy to draw her yeah, away yeah. because I already knew. And just like we've dialogued mm -hmm. about, um, our, our daughters, we could see her heavenly, you Whatever. know, I could see her heavenly identity mm -hmm. already. And yeah. I knew that this was an assignment of the enemy to really, what does the word say? Kill, steal mm -hmm. and destroy mm -hmm. to, to really mm -hmm. destroy her identity. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, no, I mean, yeah. obviously, it was on from mm -hmm. then and you know i'm a pretty good debater mm -hmm. and so i guess my daughter <laughs> would be as well so we just ha had it you know go oh, back yeah. and forth you know in a public restaurant and i was talking about crazy right and people were like wow yeah, yeah this is really happening you know and so what is so during this time she, you guys are debating so you kind of see yourself right. in her right yes because that's how i see myself and my daughter yeah. 
So as she's debating, are you like praying in your heart? Do you feel that you're trusting God or is it God kind of just, can you now today tell that you, we kind of put them aside? Oh yeah, I could mm -hmm. definitely, because what I, all I could see was mm -hmm. like, no, you're not going to go down this road mm -hmm. because I've been down this road. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then I can't even see God right mm -hmm. now. Right. It's just like, no, this is nonsense. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, fast forward, mm -hmm. um, she decides to go, mm -hmm. you know, doesn't stay out too mm -hmm. late. Um, it only took one time, sis, though. Wow. one time for her to go into this environment. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm telling you out there, all it takes is wow. one decision. Oh. One decision um, that it took her and it morphed every part of her. Mm -hmm. And it was so horrible. I mean, I would cry at night. I would cry while I was driving. I would cry when I was at work, wow. declaring yes. the word of God yes. over her. I. Oh my gosh, it was horrible. But out of a place of desperation, yes. were you praying? Yes. It Not was, out of a place of trust, right? I began to declare yeah. the same scriptures, yes. right, that yes. I was declaring. But I felt like I was dying in the inside. Yes, I feel you. And and it just continued mm. and lie mm. after lie. Mm. And she just became someone I didn't even recognize. Mm. And so let me kind of go mm. a little bit backstory. Mm. You know, I had been at um, a freedom, of all mm -hmm. things, freedom mm -hmm. training and we were meeting with strangers uh -huh. and they were declaring you know the holy spirit you know mm -hmm. what's scripture for them yes. or is there a word mm -hmm. so this young woman tells me you know i don't know what this means for you but um the lord wants you to know you know the scripture be still and know that i am god mm -hmm. and i was like that's beautiful mm -hmm. i love it right yeah. i'll hold on to that yes well that was um two months before all of this was going to happen. Wow. So I didn't know that I needed mm -hmm. that scripture until it came to this point, but it, it tormented. That's mm -hmm. the place that I was praying. Mm. I was playing at praying out of a place of torment, not out of a place of trusting. Like, so good. you know, you declare the scripture and you go, I trust you, Lord. No, it was a place of torment. Mm. I'm just so tormented because I, you know, I could see these visions and dreams that the, you know, Lord had been giving me. Mm. Um, and watching her spirit die and wow. ultimately possibly physically dying, mm -hmm. you know, so this world, this, this, um, world that she got herself wrapped up in, you know, they talk about plur. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know if any of you know the scene, but, mm -hmm. um, plur is an acronym. So mm -hmm. peace, love, unity, and respect. Mm -hmm. All of those things are really, um, places that, that they're really characteristics mm -hmm. of God. So this mm -hmm. is a false, um, mm -hmm. a false, I would say a place where they, you know, these kids feel like they're mm -hmm. loved, mm -hmm. you know, they're all welcomed in. Mm -hmm. That's really mm -hmm. like, it's a false place that the enemy has twisted, you know, what God has for them. Wow. You know, this mm -hmm. place of having peace and love and right. unity and respect mm -hmm. for, for people. Those are all God's, uh, those things belong to the Lord yes. and it's the enemy that came in and twisted those things wow. um, for her because remember she was at a place not really feeling wanted and, and accepted and accepted mm -hmm. you know at a place where she felt I mm -hmm. should be right I, I'm at church mm -hmm. you know why am I not feeling that mm -hmm. way and she goes to this place and they're like oh just welcoming yes. her didn't matter what she looked like mm -hmm. didn't matter you know um, what kind of car she drove mm -hmm. it nothing and they're so accepting but in that world, there's, you know, drug use as well, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so I knew it, I knew it in my spirit and I was tormented every single day. Um, I'd wake up just in fear that she's not going to make it home, you know? So yes, I was not trusting. I was in a place of really praying because I was tormented mm -hmm. out of desperation. Mm -hmm. Now, am I saying that you can't pray in those places? No, Right. but it was this place of, of, I didn't have a measure of if I really trusted the Lord with her. That's good. You know, and it wasn't until I was faced with mm -hmm. that. So, you know, it, it just progressively got worse that, you know, I, I would stand. So talk about mm -hmm. crazy. I would stand at the door, you know, three o'clock, three thirty, four mm -hmm. in the morning. And, you know, they like to exchange. Um, they make these like charms and mm -hmm. stuff and they like to exchange it with people. I would like, you are not coming in here mm -hmm. with that. You either throw it away you put it in your car because this mm -hmm. house serves the Lord. Mm -hmm. Joshua. Yep. So, you know, and yes. she would be like, oh, 
you know, like yeah. it was ridiculous. Mom. Yeah, and I'd be like, nope, you're not coming in here with that mm -hmm. garbage. And this is not a hotel. So then you begin that dialogue. Mm -hmm. You know, this is not a place that you can come in. Mm -hmm. And it was really out of a place that, so talk about yeah. having to trust and ask, mm -hmm. you know, even for help. Because mm -hmm. I felt in my spirit like this is a battle that I need to I need to rally mm. up the troops. Mm. So I did. Mm. You know, um, my parents had no idea what was really going on. They thought I was being hard on her until I disclosed all of this. Is you know showing mm. them pictures of, of who she was partnering mm -hmm. with. You know, and this young man. You know, getting involved in the whole scene and, and coming at her. And I would be like on her phone yes. and just like you get out of here, you know, you stop, <laughs> you know, um, deleting stuff and yeah, crazy, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and it was really this time that I rallied the troops and, mm -hmm. you know, I said, you know, family, this is what's happening. Mm -hmm. Um, we need to pray. So we began praying the, on her pillow, mm -hmm. you know, um, anointing, mm -hmm. you know, the room and every time she stepped out, well, so yes. one night I could hear, well, it's really early in yeah. the morning. I could hear like, what is that? Like somebody's car is breaking down because I, we began to declare that she would not have transportation. <laughs> Some of you may think, oh, it was just an old car. It was going to break down. N no, that car's still running to this day. Mm. Um, boom, stopped her in the tracks. Like I knew that engine, she blew the engine. Like that engine was like, it was really the Lord, the yes. Lord stopped her, mm. you know? And so that was one of the things that began, I could see that turn around like, mm -hmm. okay, Lord, you are yes. coming through, mm -hmm. but it was still, yes. you know, I, w I felt so desperate. Like mm -hmm. I'm going to die. If she dies, I'm going to die. So people came to my house mm -hmm. to pick her up. <laughs> okay. Not only did they, they came to the house, but they didn't even park and be courteous, courteous, courteous. enough to come out you know, and, and pick her up. They were like parked down the street. Well, there was a reason why mm -hmm. I was like, why is this grown man <laughs> with this other young woman picking up my kid grown man? Okay. Had to have been like, you know, 40 something years old. And I was like, Oh, I'm, I'm, that's it. It's, it's on. And she's telling me, Oh, we're going to go eat Chinese food. And I was like, why are they parked over there? Well, this crazy mom, I was like, that's it. It's on. They take off. I jump in my car because I was like, I'm following these people. Yes, ma'am. I'm following. I don't know these people. <laughs> and they came to my house mm -hmm. and they picked up my baby girl. Mm -hmm. And I jumped in my car. Well, here's the crazy part because obviously the Lord was moving, you know, yes. moving pieces, right? I'm not trusting. I'm angry now. Yes. I'm, I'm, yes. I'm going to follow you and I'm going to pull you from your, your hair, your chongo. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to drag you back <laughs> into mm -hmm. my car and yes. so I am speeding down like my neighborhood because it's like a kind of turnabout. So they went this way. I went this, you know, I'm tracking them down while well, I'm crossing paths with my parents <laughs> and they, I'm cra I'm, I'm looking crazy. So you're not at this moment bumping some Kirk Franklin, you know, you're not, you know, quoting scriptures. God, I trust you. I'm enraged. I'm, okay. I'm in rage mode. I can't even see the Lord. Oh, see right now. Mm -hmm. I'm just in rage because I was Real like, talk. no, mm -hmm. no, uh -uh. Yes. this is not going to happen. Not on my watch because yeah. it's my watch, not the Lord's watch. Right? Yeah, it's hard. It's, it's not going to happen. So you entrusted, yeah, us with these children, right? So I'm doing my part, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All crazy. All crazy. I'm speeding down, you know, residential area, and I'm crossing paths, you know. Wow. And in that moment, I just like locked eyes. Talking about like being, a, you know, a, a daughter, locked eyes, and my God just said, he like backed up and he was like, I want you to turn around and go back home. Oh. And, and I was like, I'm old, guys. I'm old. That's how Mexicans roll. <laughs> No matter how old you are, I told you. Yes, it doesn't matter. Your dad was like, go back home. He was like, turn around and go back mm -hmm. home. And he was like, what in the world? So, you know, I get home, they come in, mm -hmm. you know, and we just begin to just declare things mm -hmm. in the spirit, you know, praying in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you are losing your mind right now. And he was absolutely right. Because mm -hmm. he could see it. He goes, I was so enraged. Yes. I could have lost my mind. He was like, you need to resolve yes. something right now and you need to trust God. So in that moment, 
they laid hands on me and they began yeah. to declare because it was my mind. I, I really was yes. going crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, remember I'm being tormented. Mm -hmm. And in that place, you know, they're laying hands and I clearly, you know, of course, not this audible, you yes. know, voice of God, mm -hmm. but God said, what are you going to do? He said, he clearly laid it out. He says, if, if she, because of her choices, mm -hmm. if she loses her life, what are you going to do? And I just like broke down. Oh, I know. I broke down and I just oh. said, Lord, I'm going to continue to serve mm. you. And he was like, will you, will you give her to me? Mm. And that is such a tough place because yes. you're like, that's my baby girl. Yes. Like that was my saving grace. She helped yes, keep me grounded. Me too. And, and if you're a yeah. parent out there, a dad, a mom, you know, parents, you know, this is real. This guys. is you, you love your babies and yeah. to see, you know, yeah, I really, totally feel you know, you. The, the hand of the enemy, mm -hmm. be, you know, trying to snatch them. But to away. ask you, like, so God asked you straight out. And I was like, I'm gonna I mean, he yeah. had told me, let her go with this boy that I knew was a, an assignment. And I'm like, you want me to hand her over to Satan? Mm -hmm. like, like, what? Yeah. So to hear you, to hear God say, say it again. Like, what did he tell you? Like, so he said, you know. If she loses, loses her life, life. oh my God, you know, chills. Like, if she loses her life because of her own decisions, yeah. not because yeah, God is. Yeah, is but it's coming, a question, right? right? What are you gonna do? And I just like I obviously lost it. Do you still trust me? Yeah. Do you still trust that I'm a good God? Yep. And it was, and I released her. Wow. I re had to release her, and then you know we rallied a around as a family and. And we had to, you know, one night mm. she didn't come home, mm. like literally not come home. And we were waiting, we were waiting for her. And she got to hear her, her grandpa give her some, um, mm. some tough love, mm -hmm. make some decisions mm -hmm. and, uh, and trusted because yeah. it was really in that moment. It was within 24 hours mm -hmm. that God said, well, you release her to me. Mm -hmm. And then things started turning around. Yes. And then that, that repentant it's that part. opening your hands and not holding on to whatever you're saying you're trusting. Right. So my story and your story of just trusting had the same thing. Yeah. Just let her go. Yeah. We because we were like, no, we can't. This this is my baby girl, right? But the moment you opened your hands yep. and let her go, there was such a turnaround because we allowed God to be God who He is. Yes. Oh, so good. So trust. I know mm -hmm. we can say it. And we can, you know, just mm -hmm. like in our video, you know, trust the Lord mm -hmm. and, and we can declare those things, mm -hmm. but it really is mm -hmm. that, that place of, um, how do we know? And yeah. it's in those places when we can release what you're holding mm -hmm. on so tightly to and release that mm -hmm. to God. And he is faithful. He is. And, and I think that the whole purpose for just having, uh, um, sharing my story just about my daughter and then Patty sharing hers is to just, you know, share an experience that mm -hmm. when we say trust God, it's not just to say it. It's not because right. it was a cool topic and, you know, but honestly, it's, it's a hard topic because yeah. to trust God, you, you, it'll be in different things in your life to trust God mm -hmm. and to be able to just share that to be vulnerable and to say, look, we're not just saying trust God like it's easy. No. You, we honestly, just so that you know that we understand that it is hard. It, it's hard. And, and, and the moment that you do release and you do trust God, then you allow him to be who he is. Yes. And yeah. what he has promised. Yeah. You know, I had to, I had to be still. I love that. You know, in Psalms, it talks about be yeah. still. Yeah, and and obviously we weren't. We were doing, you know, trying to make mm -hmm. things happen or um, trying to navigate things mm -hmm. so things wouldn't happen. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and and really, it is in this place of going. Okay, yeah. here, here, mm -hmm. here's here's our our children. Yes, you know, and will we be faced with other things in life? Absolutely, might you be know. your marriage today. Might yeah. be a job because of the way times are right now you know you're on disability you're on unemployment because mm -hmm. of quarantine and uh, you know to trust god 
you know, you're like, okay, you could trust God because you still have your job. Right. But I don't know how I'm going to put food on my table. But in those moments, in those moments, God reveals who he is. Yes. That's the most beautiful part of all our stories mm -hmm. is that when you want to know God as El Shaddai, when you want to know mm -hmm. him as your Jehovah Jireh, yeah. Yeah. you know, you know, I remember crying and always saying, God, I want to know all of you, all of you, all there is to know about you. There you go. <laughs> so if God is, you know, El Shaddai, where he is more than enough, enough. Yeah. he is everything, then I'm going to be put in situations. We're going to be put in situations yeah. that shows his character that he is more than enough. Yes. That he is a God that can be trusted. Yeah. So knowing God in every area, you'll never know him as your Jehovah Jireh if you're never lack. If you never felt you were in this place mm. of need. Because Jehovah Jireh says that he is my provider yeah. and he provides. So we just felt that it would be um, good to just share yeah. that, you know, it's sometimes it's hard. Yep. But when you yes. just release it, Jesus makes it that much easier. Yeah. So thank you for letting us share. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you, Patty, for sharing. I love it. Oh. Um, not only, I mean, I kind of want to say I love it because I don't feel like I'm the only crazy one, but <laughs> yeah. I loved it. Because I just love your heart and I love just, I feel like you get me with how I yeah. feel with my kids too. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and our kids are adults and we'll still be praying like that. Yes. Yes. We so. continue to pray for them like yes. that. But so pray for our children. Yes. And pray and we'll for be you praying guys. for yours. Yes. So thank you again for joining us. Yes. And don't forget to like yes. our Facebook page and subscribe and share on Facebook. Yes. And again, if you have any comments, yes. anything you'd like to share with us, a need of prayer, yes. please reach out to us. You can reach out to us on our Facebook page, Arise Global Changers, or you can email us at ariseglobalchangers at gmail.com. Yes. See you later, guys. Blessings. Bye.